Hey folks, your OS Reviews. Today you're watching our video review of the Microsoft Touch Mouse. This is a capacitive, multi-touch enabled mouse that works great with Windows 7 in addition to Windows 8, although not all the functions that were originally designed for Windows 7 will be carried over to Windows 8. With that being said, this is a pretty natural mouse, especially if you have a Windows 8 slash 8.1 computer, just because Metro UI is really designed for touch. And so with a touch mouse, you get a lot of the uh, acclimation, it gets really transferred over and it, it creates a pretty natural sensation. With that being said, Windows 7 takes a bit more of a learning curve, uh, just because it's not entirely optimized for touch. Taking a look at the mouse's design, it's crafted out of this nice coarse black uh, plastic material that's pretty comfortable to use, and the design and the shape of the mouse is overall pretty comfortable. You can use this mouse both with your left hand or your right hand, it doesn't really discriminate in terms of the design, which we do like. And the overall uh, design of the mouse is also very interesting because the entire surface is basically just one button, so when you press it down you can see how it's like one giant click pad, very reminiscent of some HP touchpads uh, that they have on their laptops, and it basically just clicks down the entire cursor. Uh, how the actual mouse differentiates between left and right keys is due to the capacitive sensor on the front, uh, represented by these X and these dots, uh, and if you click on the right side, it knows that you're clicking on the right, and on the left, vice versa. So it's a kind of touchpad that's creating that software underneath and the hood. on the very back of the mouse, you find access to some pads that prevent the mouse from really sticking on any surfaces. There's also a magnetic dongle for you to place in the USB. It uses 2.4G wireless, so it connects into a computer uh, by plug and play. So it's pretty simple to plug it in and you can start using it. There's also a power on and off switch, and you can see it uses a laser mouse underneath the hood. Uh, it takes two AA batteries, and battery life is surprisingly good for a touchscreen mouse. Uh, it lasted us about six to seven months before we had to reach, replace the battery again with moderate usage. Uh, so decent battery life and performance in that department. As far as heating is concerned, the mouse isn't too bad. There's a bit of accumulated heat on the bottom and also on the center here. So if you kind of set it aside and start using it for a few hours, there's a bit of heat that builds up, but it's not anything that's too crippling or uncomfortable to use. Now going back into some of the gestures that you can actually use with this mouse, I'm going to go over some of the ones you can uh, use with Windows 7 first. So obviously we have the scroll wheel in the center that's represented in a virtual fashion. So if you have a uh, index finger and you run it through here, it, it uh, creates the scrolling uh, gesture on the computer and you can go up and down on different pages. You can also use your fingers to do the same thing, so kind of scrolling up and down using two fingers. You can also flick to make the process a bit faster if you want to use kinetic scrolling through longer documents and also web pages. You can also go left and right to scroll left and right and flick left and right through the different programs to make the entire program kind of go to the left of the screen and go to the right of the screen. Specifically for Windows 7, if you use three fingers, you can swipe up and down to show up all the different programs you have and also to minimize all your programs from the desktop. So those are the basic gestures you can use on here uh, specifically that have been implemented. Actually, there's no pinch to zoom uh, and that's a pretty interesting kind of design decision they made there. Just because as a mouse, you can, you'll be using your fingers rather than using your thumbs to really pinch in and out uh, for zooming purposes. Now you can also do some basic panning, like sliding through different slideshows and looking at different images by placing your thumb here and then kind of moving up and down. This axis going left and right, which is another gesture that's been implemented here. And it's pretty easy to use just because the mouse is fairly slick and responsive. Now. The downside for this particular mouse, as some reviewers have commented and pointed out, is that you have to lift your finger if you plan on using the, using the right key. So if I'm resting my finger here and I wanted to click on the right there, because the entire thing is one button, it actually can't differentiate between what key you're pressing since you have both fingers on there now. So in order to press on the right, for example, I have to lift my left key, and then I can press on there to uh, access the right click. But same thing can be said to the left, I have to lift that up uh, in order for the device to recognize what key I'm specifically pressing. So this takes a bit of acclimation but we didn't find it to be uh, really too crippling. It takes it took us about a few hours to get used to at first, but then the process became pretty natural and it's not anything too strange, especially if your desk is lower than, again, uh, where your arms are. It's pretty easy to actually lift up and then to tap on it. So the response is still pretty speedy. We didn't really experience any lag either. As far as, again, recognition between plugging into computers, we didn't have any issues with drivers uh, either. We plugged it in and tried it with a number of different computers from HP to Lenovo to Sony, and all of them basically read and recognized the mouse to a pretty nice extent. In terms of Windows 8, we largely have the same features present, um, but again, instead of the maximizing and minimizing screens that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, it really depends on your laptop or your desktop. 
So overall, I would say that the Microsoft Touch mouse is a, is a pretty sleek and modern mouse, especially now since it can be purchased for just $20. It makes for a pretty compelling purchase if you're looking for a wireless mouse that incorporates touch and makes things a bit more intuitive uh, if you plan on using a lot of gestures and scrolling through your documents and vice versa. Although it's not the most responsive mouse in the world, it has a few quirks and also learning curves associated with it. You can check out more details about this mouse in our full review, but this has been our video. Thanks for watching your OS reviews.